Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you Minecraft PC Mod Locator or MCPC Mod Locator, whatever you want to call it. This app, or this computer program I should say, is going to be very similar to MCPE, MCPE Mod Locator that I've made for Android. A lot of you have probably already seen that before, you know, getting mods, texture skins, maps, servers, whatever, for Minecraft Pocket Edition on Android. Well now I'm doing the same thing except for Minecraft PC on Windows. So I actually made a video about this a long time ago and I actually demonstrated it, showed everything off, all that fun stuff, but then I kind of abandoned that project because I wrote it in Java. That was all using the Java programming language and basically to sum up, you know, the entire project into one, two words. Actually, uh, here, here we go. It sucked. Um, Java is just not really good for making GUI programs that will, uh, you know, do stuff that this program would do, I guess. I don't know, it just isn't very efficient, so I've switched over to writing it in C++, and now it's going to be specific... can't talk. It's going to be specifically for Windows, and it's going to be like a .exe file, you know. Uh, all written in C++, and the reason I went with that is because it is just far more efficient than Java. Uh, Java is just not efficient, especially on Windows. It's universal, you know, across all operating systems, and it's very easy to write for, but it's just not efficient. And if you looked at the final product, the Java version versus the C++ version, uh, the C++, C++ version would be far superior in terms of performance. So that is why I went with C++ instead of Java, and now I'm redoing this project, like I said. So I'm going to be showing you it right here. Oops, wrong monitor. Uh, there we go. There, that's what it looks like. The buttons are the default texture, or not texture, but background, I guess. That is very, very ugly. Although it doesn't look awful. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. It's pretty bad. So the background, I got changed. The buttons have just been a pain in the butt to change. I'd, I don't know. It's been very difficult to change the buttons. I don't know why. It's just one of them weird C++ things, I guess. I don't know. This is the main page right here where you can select mods, mod file, resource packs, maps, resource pack file, or map file. I'm going to be going over uh, mod file, map file, and the mods button here. I'm going to start with mods. So when you click here, it'll ask you what version you're running. I've only got 1.8 added right now. I'll support 1.8 up to 1.8.4, 1.9 when it releases. And if you guys want, this is one of the reasons I'm making this video is to get feedback for features and stuff like that. If you guys want to see support for 1.7 through 1.7.10, leave your comments down below and I can definitely do that. Uh, you know, I just didn't see a, a whole need for it, but if there are still people who are running 1.7, then definitely leave your comments down below and then I can add that to this app or this program, whatever. 1.8. And then this is where the list of mods would be. I've only got one here. I just added Optifine to test. So it's going to be like MCPE Mod Locator where you click on it and then it'll say, you know, what the mod does, stuff like that. And then it'll download it when I click yes. So I'm going to be going here, mods, Optifine's already there, delete. All right, let's give this a shot. Give it a second to download. Optifine has been installed to Minecraft. Enjoy. Nice little enjoy message there. You can see in the mods file or mods folder, it has been downloaded. It downloaded. Did wow. I don't. That was weird. Anyways, it has been downloaded and you can use it now. I'm not going to be demonstrating using it because a lot of you already know that when it's at the mods folder, it's going to run, right? Well, hopefully. Anyways, uh, it's, so yeah, it's downloaded. I'm going to drag it to my desktop now for the next demonstration. And one of the problems we have right now is not really because I just haven't really worked with this part yet, but it's a reason why I wouldn't necessarily do a beta quite yet is when I close it, go down here, it's still running. So yeah, I don't really uh, want to give that out because when you close it, it's still run. So I have to go here or I could have just stopped it there. Here, stop, and start it up again, and now we're at the main menu. That'll all be worked out by the time the final version is done. There are going to be buttons that'll let you get that'll let you get back to the main screen, that kind of stuff. But anyways, here I'm going to go over picking in the mod file. So you can see Optifine's right there. Success, mod has been installed. 
you can just it just copies it basically it's nothing more than that but some people don't really know how to install mods and stuff like that because this app data folder here which you have to get through first or you can just do you know percent app data percent and it'll do the same thing but a lot of people don't know about that because it's a hidden folder here so it makes it kind of difficult for some people to get to you have to show hidden folders and a lot of people just don't really know how to get to the dot minecraft folder so that'll make it so you don't have to and if you wanted if you had like five mods on your desktop you could select all of them open and then it would copy all of them makes it really easy for people and you can get a lot of mods installed at one time also with picking a map file I don't have one on my desktop but I think I still have one in my garbage can there we go legend of Steve so let's go whoops app data roaming minecraft saves legend of Steve's already there from when I tested it so what this will do is when you select the zip file it will extract the zip file and put it into your saves folder so open it up here you can see it extracted it and you can see legend of steve has now been uh, installed to minecraft so that makes it a lot easier because then you don't have to go through the extracting it extracting it even though extracting isn't all that difficult it still makes it quite a bit easier and it'll copy the fo copy it to the folder for you which also makes things much easier as well that's the whole point of this as well as getting you know mods resource packs and maps very easily through the program you can also get stuff that you download from the internet it makes things just that much easier of course and that is why I'm doing this and that's why I also made MCPE mod locator and you know that that's just how it goes that's I don't know I'm just kinda rambling now but anyways I wanna know what you guys think leave your comments down below leave some feedback I'm going to work very hard on this, especially after MCPE Texture Pack uh, Installer has been released. Then I'll have more time to work on this and get things straightened out so that I can get a beta. And then I can get a final version out in summer, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping that'll be done by, it'll be done in the summer. So, again, leave your comments down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.